Hello and welcome. Let's solve another uh, question on cantilever. That is uh, the second case. That is cantilever with a uniform distributed uh, load. All right. So for us to do this, uh, the first thing we are going to be doing here is we are going to be converting this uniform distributed load to a point load. All right. So for us to do that, we are going to say W multiplied by what? By S, which is what? W S. And this W S is going to act at the center. It's going to act at the center. So let's just pick, let's pick these points to be the center. All right. So at the center, we are going to have, we are going to have W S. And if it's, if uh, the point is going, if it is acting at the center, it means the distance from the center to this point is going to be what? X over 2. And here is going to be S over 2. I hope that point is clear. All right. So now, since that point is clear, then we can just calculate our shear force and our bending moment uh, calculation directly. So let's do our shear force calculation. Shear force calculation. All right. So we are going to calculate the shear force at point A. All right. So if you look at point A, we don't have any force there. So we are going to take this to be equal to what? Zero. All right. So now the next thing we are going to consider is uh, the shear force at, uh, we are going to consider the shear force at B. Since this uh, uniform distributed load is uh, running across the whole span. All right. So we are going to say the shear force at uh, B will be equals to, now, the shear force at B, if you stand at point B, how many force do we have? We have just one, that is the force at the what? At the center, which is what? Wx. So we are going to have, the, and don't uh, forget that uh, we are going to be using coordinates, that our upward force is positive and our downward force is negative. All right, so if you stand at this point, we are just going to have only the what? Points load that is acting at the center. So which is going to be what? Minus W S. All right. So we are done with uh, the uh, shear force calculation. So let's look at the bending uh, moment calculation. All right. So the bending moment at point A. Bending moment at point A is nothing but what? Zero. All right, because we don't have any force there. All right, so but bending moment at point B now. If we consider the bending moment at point B, this is going to be equal to what? If you start at point B, don't forget we are going to have a what? A, a downward a point load, which is what? Ws. So the Ws multiplied by the distance it covers, is, which is x over 2. So but don't forget, this condition still hold because it is, it is a downward force. It's going to be what? minus ws multiplied by what s over 2 which is what minus wx square all over what all over 2 all right so now that we have our shear force now that we have our shear force and our bending moment calculation now we can therefore go, go for the what diagram all right so for us to do that we are going to trace this point a down trace uh point c but uh, okay let we, are, we can trace point c down then we are going to trace point B down as well. All right. So the reason why I did not trace this line C downward, if you look at it, we only have shear force at A, shear force at B, bend moment at A, bend moment at B. So we don't have any business with what? C. All right. So here, this is going to be zero. This is going to be zero. This is zero. This is what? Zero. So the first diagram we are going to draw is for the what? Shear force. All right. So now the shear force at point A is what? Zero. See, this, this is zero here. And the shear force at point B is what? Minus W what? X. So we are going to come to point B. Then we go down to minus W S. So let's just assume this point for it. So we are going to have here to be what? Minus W S. All right. So now, and because we are having a uniform distributed load, we are going to be using an inclined line to connect the two points. All right. All 
All right. So uh, this is the bending uh, shear force uh, diagram, which is what negative. All right. So again, we are going to be connect. We are going to be doing uh, that of what uh, the bending moment. All right. So the bending moment at point A is also what zero, and then the bending moment at point B is what minus W S square. So we can just assume this place to be our minus W S square all over what all over two. All right. So now, uh, because we are having a uniform distributed load. The shear force is going to be an inclined line. Then why that of the uh, bending moment is going to be a what? A parabolic curve. All right. So uh, we are going to draw a parabolic curve from this point, from this point to this point. All right. Let's go. All right. So that is it. So here we are going to have a negative uh, a negative bend moment here. So you can shade, you can shade to make your work look neat. All right, so that is how to go about this uh, question. So thanks.